Hi there, today we're unboxing a Wi-Fi socket range extender with USB. So this particular one is by a company called British General. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So let's take a quick look around the packaging. It comes in a small package and see-through bit of plastic showing the actual socket there. A few details to mention, so square profile, 2.4 gigahertz, single band, fits a 25 millimeter box, 13 amp switched double socket, and one USB charger, which outputs at 2.1 amp. And looking here, speeds of 300 megabits per second. Coming around the back, you've got safety warning and some additional details regarding the company itself. So let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging, so let me quickly go through them one by one. You get a bag containing some fixtures, so two screws and four caps to cover the screw holes on the socket. Next, we have a card highlighting some of the details I've already mentioned. Then we have a quick installation guide, all in English, detailing all the items you need to know in terms of installing this. And then on the back, just setup instructions, just showing you the three methods for installing this. Let's look at the double socket. So, two buttons on here to control the plug points here so you can turn them on and off you've got a switch here for WPS to pair it with your router then you've got your charge point there two screw holes here for mounting onto a back box antenna locations are just up here flipping it around the other way you can see the wires coming off the socket for the antennas and then you've got the locations for the cables so live and they've even color coded it so brown neutral is blue Earth is yellow and green, and there's two earth connection points. Build-wise, if I try twisting it, it does feel very solid. So build quality, very good. Okay, so now I'm at my consumer unit, and you can see all the switches here. Now, I need to isolate the ring main associated to where I'm going to install this um, Wi-Fi extender. Now, I know it's on this circuit here, so if I turn this switch down it goes into the off position and that confirms it's off now i need to go upstairs again to where i'm going to install this and just test out and just confirm it is fully off and then we can proceed with the installation now again i've got a highlight if you're not sure about electrics do not attempt this best just to get a professional in and get it replaced it is quite a straightforward job for a competent diy person but if you're not sure don't attempt it Let's make a start at installing this device. So this is the socket I'm going to replace with this and I've already isolated the power and confirmed that there's no electricity coming out of this socket. So first of all, let's remove the screws. Now with the socket removed, you can see the cables that are there. So let me loosen these now. Next thing you want to do is just loosen up the screws here so you can put the cables in place. So let me do that. Now the gap's large, so I should be able to place the cable in there. Looking at how it is, lives on, lives on this side, neutrals on that side. So I'll just flip the cables around. There you go, the cables are in place now. So I can just put the socket back into position There you go, the double socket's installed now. Now the installation's complete. I can just turn the power back on. And as you can see, the switch is in the on position. Now I've turned the power back on, and as you can see, there's a light flashing away. So in terms of usage of this device, you'd want to place this somewhere where it's fairly close to your router, not too far away. Obviously, the reason for using this is to extend your Wi-Fi connectivity. So if the signal you're getting is completely dead in the location. It's not gonna pick anything up. So I'll give you an example. If your router's at the front of your property and you've got a dead spot at the back of your property, you'd put it more likely in the middle of your property. Let's make a start at setting this up using the QR code setup. So there's a QR code there and I've read the instructions and what it says, if I go to my Wi-Fi connections and there should be one called Wi-Fi socket and there it is just there, if I click on that, it's connecting and obviously there'll be no internet on this because it isn't connected to anything okay connected without internet it says now coming back I'll go to my camera and if I scan in the 
code and it's picked up this web address if I click on there and now this is what it's picked up via that URL and if we now go back to the instructions briefly and I just show web browser setup and what it says is instead of scanning the QR code you just type in that URL so if you look here at the top the URL that's shown is the one that's given by the QR code so it's identical method to set this up now coming back this is what you're presented with and you've got to choose a network so I'll pick my test one which is over here and now it's asking for the password for this network so let me enter that in off camera I've entered in my Wi-Fi password let me click next and it's asking to confirm the settings click confirm and there you go connected your settings have been confirmed and it's saying at the bottom your Wi-Fi extended network is now ready to use try connecting to your extended network now and you can see it there my test networks there if I connect a network and you can see I've got full bars on that there you go as simple as that to get up and running with it so now if I go to YouTube click on a video and there you go working straight away so you go as simple as that to get set up and this covers both the QR code setup and the web browser setup with this device so the next thing to show is how to reset this device so very straightforward you can see I'm connected to link 2G at the moment and if I now hold on to this button for about 10 seconds you can just see it flash red and blue red and blue briefly and then it turns off so let's give it a moment and what we want to do is wait till it starts flashing again and then once it started flashing we can actually refresh our Wi-Fi and we should see Wi-Fi socket appear again there you go Wi-Fi socket it's appeared and you can see it flashing away in the background so it's simple as that to reset again now to set up with WPS you just go to your router and there should be a button saying WPS on there I'm at my Netgear Orbi and on there there's a sync button and it's a similar process you just hold on to the button for around five seconds and once you've done that on mine I can see it flashing at the top indicating it's ready to sync and if I go back to the socket and now at the socket I just press the button once and there you go that's all you need to do it's flashing away meaning it's done and now if I come to my phone drop this down so it's actually connected to this one here so as simple as that to get configured as you see so two separate methods and coming back and now looking on my phone if I go to Wi-Fi that's the one I'm connected to which is selected at the moment and coming back going to YouTube hit play and there you go working so how easy was that you can connect it obviously via the QR method web browser setup or you could use the WPS setup so very simple and again if you've got the config wrong or you want to change something very easy again just hold on to the button for around 10 seconds it resets it and then you can just go through the setup again now the device actually has a holiday mode on there so the button here if I press it three times and now that turns off the Wi-Fi completely so if you're away on holiday and want to turn off your Wi-Fi as simple as that and when you're back obviously you just press it again three times and light comes back again indicating Wi-Fi is back on it's an excellent bit of functionality I was wondering myself if you could stop this in any way and you can so really impressed with it so there you go hope it's helped anyone thinking of setting up this particular Wi-Fi socket extender details are in the description below thanks for viewing and don't forget to like comment and subscribe <laughs>